Okay, we are using the old Raspberry Pi, not old, but the purchase on 2020 uh, Raspberry Pi to do this update. Okay, you have to use the old, the, the two years uh, Raspberry Pi because uh, the new 2023 Raspberry Pi will not boot up to any images unless the image is redone. And so that's what we are doing is updating the Raspberry Pi to uh so we're gonna go to option go to raspberry pi setup retro pi called retro pi setup and we are going to update update the script and also update the the, the package the basic install because without doing that and you run those uh four command line uh it will not it will not work okay so we are going to first uh update the script by pressing A on your controller press A again okay once that's updated it will show you the latest uh, version of the Raspberry uh, RetroPie script uh, okay so we click A All right, so it's telling you what version you have, and and it's updating right now the script. So you have a, a the setup version is four point eight point six. So it's updating to a four point eight point six. That's what I have on 2026, I believe. I forgot to check the version before we update it. All right, click OK. Click A. A. This is all keyboard, uh, not keyboard, controller and... Uh, all right. So, based on this, it's saying that the version is 4.8.6. Uh, 23 hour ago so we just we just updated to a 4.8.6 all right now we are going to do update are you sure you want to install install the package yes uh, fetching the script okay Now, this one is the one is going to take forever. Okay, it's going to take a while. Uh, hmm. Okay, let's see what it said. Would you like to make the uh, under OS package kernel? Yes. Now after this, now not all the images you could do that. Like for example, uh, for sure the the what's that one? Some of the image that they tell you you cannot do this, uh, it will not work. So don't do it because it will crash the image and the time you wasted updating. Uh, I think Virtual Man uh, he suggested. And other people images that they suggest it. you could try I mean the worst thing come is oh update work but the image do not work you know uh, Android Android that one on Raspberry Pi 4 now I'm gonna try to see if I could do uh, an update on my Raspberry Pi an uh, Android 10 to Android 14 OS by the, by doing the update I don't know it will work but I will try if not we will s start from scratch uh, install uh, Android 14 on Raspberry Pi 4 B 8 gigabyte and then uh, we install all the software all the apps but uh, 
at this moment I haven't tried to do the Android yet so stay tuned for that I probably will test it first and see if it work uh, before I do a t tutorial how to do it but uh, each person have his own favor of images uh, there is one out there that does work on a newer model that I use for GRS uh, build, build a CAD the 116 scale of but it's not 116 it's just a mini version of by Glenn's uh, retro uh, show he have one that that I have tested with the uh, Mr. Burns image uh, Wem shot image you but he I think he just called Mr. Burn image he had one out there that worked for Raspberry Pi 4b and Raspberry Pi 3b and also Raspberry Pi W and Raspberry Pi I mean Zero and Zero W and I think also Raspberry Pi 2 so uh, you can look on my first image first video that I did which is say the old image do not work on the the new purchase Raspberry Pi. That video have the link to to his image. You can use that image to do that. It also have track uh, track mode. So it's, it, it is a pretty decent image. It's just that it is customized to work with his uh, basil. It's a vertical image. But I believe you could use, yeah, it's a vertical image, and I think you, I'm not sure. You might be able to try to make it to a horizontal. I think it does have an option to switch it to horizontal. So that one will work on the new uh, Raspberry Pi 4 purchase. Okay. So we're going to update this, and then after finish updating, uh, we could do one thing. We could do two things. We want to make sure that by doing this, can I put it into the newer purchase Raspberry Pi 4, will it work? Uh, if it doesn't work, let's run those four, four steps and see if it work. The command line, those four command line, pseudocode. And pretty much I believe after we run the pseudocode, those four command, it will start working. But I have not tested uh, without running the pseudocode uh, command would it work by just doing this so we're gonna after this is finished updating we're gonna move it over to the new purchase Raspberry Pi see if it work if it does if it do not work then we're gonna bring it back to the older one and run the script we're gonna fast forward to this because this is gonna take forever hi right here is gonna prompt you a question uh, you wanna I I personally just say yes okay he said by default is no, but I want to go ahead and update everything. So I'm going to press Y, press enter, and it's going to continue updating. Okay, look like the update is completed. So I'm going to press A. Uh, it's going to give you some kind of error. So I'm just going to keep on press A. So what I'm gonna do is after this is done, pressing OK, we're going to pop it out and put it on the other machine, see if it even uh, will boot up or not before we run the uh, the command line, the pseudocode command line. Okay, we can just go into perform a reboot. So yes. All right, we're gonna pop the SD card and move it to the other machine. Okay, it look like it worked. You don't have to run the script. Just do the basic update install. And that's it. This image now is working. So, so you guys could try on the, your favorite image. If it does not boot up to the, the Raspberry Pi that was purchase on 2023 then uh, then this is what I suggest then it will work now if you have the 
the 2021 or the 2020 uh there's a chance on 2021 there might be still older version and some there are some in 2022 and 23 will run into this problem okay now some of you might have uh put purchased on 2022 and have no issue you know just running those the basic step might just work but if you if your basic step do not work then i would suggest to do what i just did run that uh basic install and then then the raspberry pi will show up on the new raspberry pi that purchased on 2023 because we already boot up the we already boot up the uh the bootloader the bootloader is already been updated we check it on the last time and also I have also did the software where you could install the desktop software and then run the those uh, pseudocode command line and that still did not work so <clears throat> and those two previous uh, video already show that running those commands do not work so you will have to uh, do a software update once the software update is done uh, if it do not work, then you go ahead and apply. <clears throat> then you will go ahead and apply the this command, which will be in your description, okay? Which we will right here. Sorry, you you will do those commands starting with three. So code get update and full update, install and so on, okay? So from three to six. All right, hopefully this helped because now this one work. All right, thank you for watching, later.